Invest is known for finding disruptive companies that are usually in the infancy stages and have just IPO'd. But PayPal does not meet this criteria. When ARK first invested in them, which was coincidentally the same day as the 2020 US presidential election, PayPal was already well above over $100 billion in market cap and was a profitable company. ARK has been quickly selling out of its PayPal shares as of late. Does that mean that PayPal is no longer a buy? That's what we're going to try and find out today. I review many of ARK Invest stocks. In fact, I even have my own playlist series where you can find out about the different Kathy Wood investments that I have covered. Be sure you've hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out a small time channel like this as we dive into PayPal. PayPal was founded all the way back in 1998 and it used to be a subsidiary of eBay. The origins of PayPal have literally changed the world as some of the early employees and founders in the late 90s and early 2000s became known as the PayPal Mafia and they later went on to start companies such as Palantir, YouTube, Yelp. Oh and then there was also this guy named Elon Musk who keeps pumping Dogecoin but he never really amounted to much anyway. I always thought this was a photoshopped photo, but it's actually a real photo taken back all the way in 2007 when Fortune Magazine actually did a story about them. Elon Musk was unable to make the appointment because he was probably too busy building up Tesla and SpaceX. PayPal is an online payment system company that operates worldwide. Without getting too convoluted, they basically make money from the fees that they charge on payment transactions and then a small amount of revenue is also generated from their other business services. PayPal as a company has really executed well in being the company that connected the internet to payments, something that was unheard of back in the late 90s, early 2000s. But PayPal has been on a rapid fire customer acquisition streak going from 180 million users in 2015 to now five years later, at the end of 2020, they now had over 377 million customers. That is more than the entire population of the United States. Their CEO truly believes that they can surpass 700 million active users in the next five years because of the more interactive products that they have been offering and launching, and this includes the buying and selling of cryptocurrency. Remember, each customer coming in is more revenue for PayPal when they make transactions. And just look at this gigantic ecosystem of different services and products they offer from both the buyer and seller side. On the payment sector, they have such services such as peer-to-peer -peer transactions or giving to charity. Some of their financial services includes credit cards and debit cards. And then with shopping, they have their rewards program. Marketing tools gives them insights to shopper and business profiles. Merchant services gives access to help with inventory management, as well as providing a business loan. And there's so many more listed here that I didn't even get to cover. It just really reminds me of Square and that they are just a gigantic financial services ecosystem where if you use one of their services, chances are you're gonna be using another one of their features as well. And that's what makes their customer acquisition costs that much lower. PayPal has really been a hot stock these past couple of years. In the past five years, they've more than doubled their revenues. They have 3x their free cash flow and they have 7x their market cap. I always joke here on this channel, I put a 10x in the video thumbnails, but this is a company that has almost actually done it. And PayPal was already 17 years old in 2015. It's not like this was a super young company where it's a lot easier to multiply those numbers. PayPal has over 4,000 employees in their risk management function something that their current CEO has made a gigantic push for since he took over six years ago. This is very beneficial because if you're gonna be constantly making acquisitions and pushing out new products, you need to make sure that you are in compliance with different countries' rules and regulations. You need a giant arsenal of dedicated employees like PayPal has. Now, PayPal acquired Venmo in 2013. Venmo is something I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with. It's a popular peer-to-peer -peer transfer of money services. And it's very common to hear the phrase, hey, just Venmo me when splitting a bill with friends or family. It's very similar to Square's Cash App. PayPal said that during this past holiday season, during their peak, PayPal had 1,000 transactions per a second. 
Think about how crazy that is. You literally hear nothing but Another strength of PayPal is that they're focusing heavily on growing internationally. They have new partnerships that allow them to operate in China and tap into their 1 billion plus consumers and quickly growing middle class there. PayPal also has really strong brand recognition that people trust. Many people, if you're buying something online and PayPal isn't a payment option, they will not trust the site. And I know many of you are curious, but according to Google, OnlyFans does not accept PayPal. Sorry to crush your dreams, but hey, if you have personal experience and can prove this Google search wrong, please tell us in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button while you're at it. PayPal is really focused on a digital tomorrow. They know that store owners are not so much worried about how to get customers into physical stores anymore, but making those purchases online. Certainly C19 helped kickstart this, but online shopping, it helps save time, it's sometimes more convenient, and it's also just easier to compare options between different products. Now PayPal hopes to tap into users' digital wallets, which could help them collect data with AI learning and then recommend personal deals and offers to them. This is already happening because people don't like using cash. PayPal also plans on letting people pay with cryptocurrency. Now that more users trust their money with PayPal, that could also mean that they could offer more use of their high interest savings accounts with PayPal. You could buy and sell stocks, and of course selling data to merchants so that they can offer customers deals based on their shopping trends. This would allow a one-stop shop to do all exchanging of currency from the merchant to the consumer. If you couldn't tell by the stocks I own or the videos I put out, fintech is personally one of my favorite sectors because I just feel like it's so hard to lose. Now you are probably worried about how saturated this market is getting and how they could possibly have room for more growth. PayPal estimates that their total addressable market is $110 trillion. As of today, their CEO says they only have about 1% of that market cap. Clearly, there's plenty of room for them to still grow and tap into different opportunities, especially with crypto and less developed parts of the world. But there's also plenty of competition in this space. In a world where you have Visa, MasterCard, Google Pay, JP Morgan Chase, and so many more. So we see here that ARK at one point had 2.4 million shares of PayPal. But they have been very quickly unloading their shares, and at this point, they have a very insignificant position in PayPal. One would be quick to assume that this means that PayPal is no longer worth holding. But remember, ARK has very key metrics that companies need to be checking marks off for ARK Invest to actually buy into the company, including 15% annual returns. We know at one point PayPal actually met all those criteria, but stock price and companies change every single day. Maybe ARK felt that PayPal was overpriced, the stock has been quite volatile in the past year, and they just took some profits. Maybe ARK needed to free up some capital, perhaps there was a tax reason for them selling off. Or maybe they just didn't feel that it met all of their metrics anymore. ARK is actively managed, and just because they've closed a position doesn't mean that that stock isn't a good company. For example, they closed their Facebook position on November 10th, but few people would argue that Facebook is a bad company to own. According to TipRanks, 31 out of 35 analysts whose career is to analyze the sector believe that PayPal is still a buy, and they see a 15% uptick in the stock price in the next 12 months. I also see Kathy selling PayPal as a possible way to maybe hedge my investments. If you're just buying a bunch of ARK stocks or the ARK fund, maybe having PayPal as a stock that gives you that extra diversification from just ARK investments. I would love to hear what you have to say though about PayPal stock, if this is a position in your portfolio or one that you are staying away from. These videos take a lot of time for me to research, record, and edit. The best way that you can help out a small time channel like mine is to hit that like button and subscribe and I will buy stash PayPal Mafia you later.